A Mayfield man eager to thank the people who saved his life last week when he was plucked from the icy waters of Sacandaga Lake. Ed Fitzgerald was in the water for 30 minutes before a team of Saratoga County DPW workers made a daring rescue. Mark Mulholland brings us the story first on 13. Mark? Well, Jim and Elaine Fitzgerald wouldn't have made it if not for the quick thinking and actions of some guys who were eager to do whatever it took to save him. Ed Fitzgerald is an experienced snowmobiler, but he ended up in a spot on the Sakandaga too thin for his sled, plunging Fitzgerald into the icy water. Luckily, Jerry McGraw, who lives nearby, had seen a snowmobile go by and knew the ice wasn't safe, so he waited for it to come back. But it didn't. And I heard him yelling, and I turned around and had, had my wife call 911. At about that time, Jeff Gray, who was home from his job at the county DPW, also came to check it out. And about three miles away, Rob Christ, who works for the county at the North Garage, got word that a dive team was needed not far from the Conklinville Dam. He and his co workers, Preston Allen Jr. and Aaron Colvin, raced to the scene to find Fitzgerald in the water, about 40 feet or so from shore and struggling. At first he was yelling help, but as time went on, it was just moans of groans. Fitzgerald said by phone Wednesday he was in the water for about a half hour and was aware of some of the frantic scramble happening on shore. Just focused on by time. Desperate to save his life, the men found a rowboat, but no paddles. So Alan broke through the ice with his hands, while Chris used a two by four as an oar. With the others holding a rope tied to the boat, Alan scooped him out of the water. We made it out there. Once he had a hold of him, we yelled for everybody to pull us back in. It feels great, you know, to, to know that we actually helped save this guy's life because I, I don't think he would have made it a whole lot longer. Fitzgerald was rushed to the hospital, and by the next day, he was able to go home to his wife and two young daughters, all because of some strangers who rescued him. They gave me a second lease on life. Um, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for them. Uh, I'm indebted. I don't know how I'll pay the debt, but it's something I got to work on. Now, Fitzgerald would like to get together with his rescuers to thank them in person. It should be noted that there's no cell service in that part of Saratoga County, so the rescuers had to race back to their homes to call 911 from a landline. Reporting live in our Saratoga newsroom, I'm Mark Mulholland. Jim and Elaine, back to you. What a great piece of teamwork, and that last fact just made it even more incredible. Yeah. Great story, Mark. Thank you. Wow. Remarkable. Mm.